As a researcher at the Media Lab, we are trying to make bulky planner and boxy electronics into soft, uh, time dynamic and um, elastic uh, uh, electronic forms. Today's electronics are stiffer, up to six orders of magnitude compared to soft tissue that we have. Uh, so it's very uh, obvious when you want to integrate electronics with biology, there are severe uh, challenges, mismatches, like geometrical as well as the mechanical mismatch. So what we do in our clean room at the Media Lab, we use traditional microfabrication techniques on silicon-based uh, hard materials, and then we sort of come up with a technique which can let us to lift off the entire device platform from planar silicon wafer mother substrate and then transfer print on any target substrate. By this way we can make the devices as thin as possible and with this thickness values which is really tiny micron level you can simply laminate on your curvilinear skin or you can laminate it uh, uh, or embedded in a, in a textile or you can print on your face or as a kind of piece of your hair you can laminate it anywhere and in terms of the modulus value the stiffness value they sort of uh, um, match with the biological tissues that we have so we use the polymer layers underneath of our devices which match with the biological tissues that we have in our body the feature size of our devices are really tiny, micro level, uh, and any dust particle can be a part of uh, the device. Uh, so, and because of that, the device would be unfunctional. So, um, to to get rid of the uh, 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 particles around us, we had to use a, a clean environment. That's why we had a clean room at the Media Lab, where we do uh, traditional microfabrication uh, uh, processes. But then for our ever-changing uh, needs, research needs, we hack the traditional tools and come up with a new ways to fabricate our uh, flexible and stretchable electronic devices. So this is the um, traditional silicon wafer that we use uh, and all our computers, cell phones, they're all based on this uh, 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 silicon-based uh, chip technology. But then um, we have a sacrificial layer on the top of the silicon wafer and we fabricate everything, entire device active layers on the top of the sacrificial layer. Then we lift off the device and print on any target substrate. It could be a piece of um, elastomer like this, so that this uh, planar device can be stretchable and laminatable on any curvy region. Or it could be a piece of plastic like this. You can bend it, unlike the traditional pacemakers, for instance. And, but this way you can just bend it and then laminate on your heart, beating heart and whenever your heart beats, the device bend it. And because of the piezoelectricity, because of the strain and stress value accumulate, accumulated in the piezoelectric, piezoelectric materials, you can generate voltage and current. And um, this is, for instance, another kind of uh, 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 electronic uh, circuit that we did which we embed in our textile electronics it's flexible and at the same time it's stretchable you can just stretch it you can eliminate you can release it stretch it and release it so it's very comfortable to have this kind of uh, uh, electronic components in your trousers or underwear or any part of your on your body